man's best friend often starts as boy's best friend. It's something 13 year old Liam Klein understands more than most kids his age. His dog Einstein goes everywhere with him. He is literally the reason that I'm actually alive right now. About four years ago, the Highland Park resident was diagnosed with PTSD. After the diagnosis, he was hospitalized. The medical team recommended a service dog. That's when Einstein became part of the family. The dog is literally a lifeline. I couldn't really go anywhere or like do really or really do anything without having panic attacks and hallucinations. Liam says after his diagnosis, he was frustrated with the lack of resources for kids battling PTSD, which is why he decided to launch the Chaotic Spider Foundation to raise funds to train dogs to become service dogs for kids like him. The nonprofit works with Compass Key, a company that offers service dog training for clients with various disabilities. Oh, very good. That's it. Oh, oh he got distracted again. That's okay. This is Thaw. He's Chaotic Spider Foundation's first trainee. There are four different phases of the dog training process. Phase one is basic obedience, like sit and stay. Then the dogs move on to phase two, advanced obedience. That's where they learn to master the skills they've already been taught, but in all sorts of different settings with lots of distraction, like noise and other dogs. Then they learn skills that are specific to the client's disability. A cue that we offer sometimes is uh, calm. Uh, and, the, and the dog knows to uh, cuddle up next to the, next to the client and the, and the client can focus on the dog and just petting the dog, you can imagine what that does. It reduces cortisone levels and just helps the person relax. During the final phase of training, the handler and dog team learns to work together in public places like restaurants and malls. Liam is determined to expand his nonprofit. He recently wrote to Oprah Winfrey a few times until one day he says the phone rang. She said how proud of me she was for what I did going from having PTSD to wanting to help other kids and starting a foundation. And she said that she, she was going to send a $20,000 check to sponsor a dog. That's how much it cost the nonprofit to cover the training, medical expenses, transportation, and more. Liam says he plans to only use dogs from high kill shelters. They'll be paired with foster families during the training, which can take anywhere from six months to two years. The 13 year old says it's all worth it. Oh boy. And it makes it so you can actually say go to the library or go to school or do the things that you should actually be doing as a kid. I'm just thrilled that he wants to give back and I want him to be successful. You know, if every kid that has this doesn't have a problem because they can be a kid, then he's successful. In Highland Park, I'm Lauren oh Wonko and JTV News.